All right, welcome back, my lovelies. My, my, my motherfucking lovelies. Today, I'm going to show you how to use USB Joy to Touch from opening the app to putting controls on the screen and controlling the game. I couldn't find this info. It needs to be out there. Let's get it cracking. All right, I click on the app. I have everything off, even the IME. I have every, even the IME off. All right, I'm gonna turn. I click on IME. That gives it the, the ability to actually control the screen. So I, I, you have to give this the control. I click on USB Joy to Touch. It disappears. I then click on J Joy to Touch. It's off. I click on it. The J is greater than the T symbol over there. I click on that. It's bring it found all my devices. And it'll find each device one at a time. You or whatever. Now I'm going to click. I got it on autos cause so it comes on when my com my box comes on. You still gotta. I still gotta tell it what to do. What to um use the program on, but I can at least use it without having to come here when the when the box comes on. I click search. It's finding my devices, my items one at a time. My optical mouse. No, I don't need it to you. The mess with my optical mouse, I click cancel. Super top device, that's my USB um, card reader. Now, I don't want it to fuck with that either, so fuck off. And I already had my controller. I would have clicked OK if it would have came up. And now I click. I want it to act like a Xbox 360 controller. I click native. And then I click Xbox 360. I could have used IME and Native for what I'm about to show you. But you could also use it as PlayStation 3 setting. I'm going to show you what IME setting is. It comes up and I have that option. I don't need Joy to Touch on, but I have it. I have the option to add the Touch Edit. I'll show you what that is in a moment. And Touch Mouse to my keyboard. I've added that to my controller as the analog sticks when you click them in the, the, there are those two buttons the touch edit and touch mouse I'll explain though what those are after I exit this app and then I, I could go to native when I have it on I like it on Xbox 360 I have it set up like an Xbox 360 you can see my controllers the joysticks all that are set up I don't have a d-pad set up because of the way my controller operates it's not functioning fully properly as a control a real controller I'm using a app a, a device that lets me use PlayStation 2 controllers on it I go to alright I have it set up as I like it so I'm up click my back button to exit out of there and it's set up I can use my controller as you can see I'm using my controller to control everything is a PlayStation 2 controller. I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a game. That's touch edit. And this is touch mouse. It gives me a little cursor that I can use. And this is touch, and this is touch edit. Well, I can add any button to the screen that I want. Touch edit. Touch mouse. Alright, now we're going to go to Broken Dawn. And I'm going to show you how to set up controls in that game to be able to use it with your controller. Because this game doesn't have controller support. Natively. Alright, I use my, my mouse to tap to start. I set up the game regularly. 
as you would normally. You can use the mouse here. Or if, if, if your regular mouse doesn't work, you can use the touch edit mouse on games that don't recognize a regular mouse. They, they seem to act differently. The touch edit mouse is something entirely different than a regular mouse. Alright, it's loading the level. That was pretty quick. Tap to continue. I I click and I add T to add a touch element. Please move, press stick key button. I move the left stick. I move it over where they where they're telling me. I press to move. I want it smaller, so I click the the minus range, and I left click off of it, and I do what they say, and it moves for me. I want to add a shoot button now. So I click it again, click, I press the X button, and the X button is now touch enabled. I move it over where it tells me to, and I press it like they tell me to. I have to now have a, a reload button. I press the L, I want that to be L1. I press it there. I move it over the box. Click my left stick again to close it. I now need a fire rockets once again. Click the add, press the button, close it, press the button. I need a dodge button, click to add. I put that at square, move it over there, click to close it, press the square button, and I need a, my mecha button. I'm going to put that as R2. And I move it over there, and I'm done. And and as you can see, you don't even see the touch buttons on your screen while you're playing the game. It's in the it's a whole back is a background process. And now I, well, I want to pause. I just use the mouse. You could add a button up here, but I just use the mouse for stuff like this, for stuff like that. And as you see, I'm controlling the character. It thinks I'm touching the screen. And it, and it runs pretty good. It looks pretty good. Broken Dawn HD. But that's how you set up touch games control with. Oh, I didn't set up a heal button, so I go and I add a button R1. R1. And I put it over the heal item. Close it out. And I got a heal button. Wasted that to show you guys what's going on. But, and there you have it. I'm playing Broken Dawn HD, a game with no controller support. Now, with my controller, you see me pressing the button, she's shooting. So let's get it. I'm going to see how far I can, if I can go ahead and beat this level with the controller. I don't forgot what I set the buttons as, but... They're there for me. I can try them when I'm ready to see what does what. That's heal. That's a waste of a heal line. They probably cost real money. Fucking jerk off. No, I'm just kidding. It's all right, game. Apparently I'm going back. Can't even read a map. Just doing too much. That's too much gravy on my biscuits. <laughs> As you can see, my lovelies. My motherfucking lovelies. I'm doing it up with the controller. <laughs> 